Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So things continue in the OSR-verse in regards to Zach Smith and uh, Fallout from uh, Mandy Morbid's public posting on Facebook, making allegations against Zach during their relationship. Not going to go into details on that end of it. I already have covered some of it. We can, I will link her uh, Facebook post again. So that'll be in the show notes if you want to read it. I, uh, she warns it can be seen as disturbing. It is certainly a, a, upsetting taking that face value. Okay. However, there's been further fallout. Ken Haidt has said that he will not work with Zach Smith on any projects going forward. Um, Mike Merles made a public statement. Basically, uh, I don't want to say throwing Zach to the wolves, but, you know, basically making Zach persona non grata. And that's pretty bad, but the, the worst is, is here. Uh, one bookshelf. Now... The one bookshelf stuff. Oh, excuse me. Look at that, Zach. I gave a belch to you. Um, the one bookshelf stuff is is jamming for his his Zach's uh, ongoing viability as an OSR game creator. Uh, drive through response to current industry news. I will include a link to this posting, also in the show notes. Uh, thanks to everyone for your patience as we deliberated on the situation that has unfolded regarding Zach Smith. At Drive Through, we want to do our best. We want to do our part to keep bad actors out of the role playing community, and we don't want business relationships with such people. As such, we think there wouldn't be much deliberation needed on our part. However, the situation posed a number of challenges for us to consider in terms of precedent and collateral impact on other parties. I have decided that we will not accept future titles for sale on drive through RPG or our other marketplaces if Zach is a contributor on the tile. title. Folks, that is huge. Okay, that means uh, future Lamentations of the Flame Princess. Uh, if Zach's anywhere on it, like the referee book that has yet to show up. Uh, but if something like that were to have Zach in it, they're saying that they are not going to allow it to show up on any of the marketplaces that OBS owns. What about prior stuff? Well, they'll go into that. Uh, If any publisher had the title in process to which Zach is a contributor and this policy would impact you financially, then we'd ask that you please reach out to us via the publisher services link to have a dialogue about that title. For titles Currently on our marketplace, which Zach is listed as a contributor, we have checked those publisher accounts, and none of these titles have us paying money directly to Zach. That's a situation where uh, Zach would be getting a percentage of the actual sales dollars. You can do that with contributors. He's not listed like that on their side in any way. While it is likely that Zach does earn a royalty on some titles sold in drive through any such royalty would be paid directly by the publisher of the title, not by drive through Further, whatever royalties Act might get from any publisher on our store is likely to be the entirety of what we pay that publisher. We do not feel it's fair to penalize financially those who worked with Act in the past, including both publishers and possibly other contributors earning income from these titles. Therefore, we expect publishers to make their own decision to continue selling these titles or not, presumably after consulting with all other contributors. There's a Kickstarter right now that is having issues due to that. Okay, uh, Demon City, the ultimate horror RPG. Uh, apparently, Zach is involved in this title. Uh, people who are contributors to it are asking to have their content removed, have their name removed from the project. Uh, yeah, this, this shit just keeps on rolling downhill. Uh, for our part, we will be identifying all titles to which Zach contributed and diverting all of our revenue shares the drive through might make from sales of these titles as a donation to raianrain.org. And then, of course, they want to know preemptively the answer to a few questions. What happened? Why did you not suspend the sale of Zach's titles? Because that would 
I'm not going to go get the full response this was because you'd hurt the publishers. Um, here's an interesting one. So drive through is now banning certain creators. Will whoever the outrage brigade complains about next be banned as well? Interesting answer here. We all share responsibility for the health of our hobby. Any demographic measure we've ever seen on the role-playing hobby shows women are underrepresented. Things won't improve if people shirk the responsibility to make our hobby inclusive. Zach Smith has a long and well-documented history of behaviors and anti-ethical. Anti 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 there we go. Sorry, folks. I'm a New Yorker. Certain words don't, don't really apply to us. Uh, to a healthy community in light of recent allegations, which we find credible. We think our business and our hobby is better off without him, so we're doing our part. Now, listen to the following. We already have a small list of other bad actors in the industry with whom we refuse to do business. People who have repeatedly abused crowdfunding platforms for personal enrichment. Uh, I'm guessing, I don't know. I'm going to throw this name out there, just in a lark. Ken Whitman, maybe? Uh, who repeatedly engaged in IP violations, who have repeatedly treated our staff or customers in unacceptably unprofessional ways, and so on. If you repeatedly act like a jerk, or worse, a predator, we won't wait for other people to complain about you. We will just stop doing business with you. Okay. Uh, why are you not banning his existing titles? Because we don't want to hurt other people who have contributed to those same titles just to diminish that. Banning those existing titles risks doing just that. Thanks, Stuart. Stuart Wyke, or Week, President, One Bookshelf Drive Through RPG. So, pretty, uh, pretty damning if you want to be a contributor to this hobby, and this is where your one of your major income streams is, and. You've just been removed. Now, somebody else has put their distance. Contessa. Contessa has a statement on Zach Smith. I'll also include a link to this. Real briefly, I'm not going to do the whole thing here, but both literally and figuratively, Mandy Morber is a friend of Contessa. She was there to participate in the early online events that gave a shape that gave shape to what would become Contessa. Staffers and members of her board have been invited into her home in the past and have gained with her as well. We support her and believe her. We, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not reading the whole thing here. I don't want any, you know, Stacy claiming that I'm appropriating material, but I think it's important to get this out here that even Contessa, which was, uh, in a lot of ways, linked to Zach because of Stacy Delafornos or Delafarno's close relationship with Zach. We, as an organization, apologize for any miscommunications, or sorry, misconceptions that Smith's past relationships with members of the board of directors of Contessa and Contessa staffers may have created in gaming spaces. But officially, Contessa neither supports nor condones the past or present actions of Smith on or offline. Interesting, right? Um, now, I don't know if this was written by Stacey or not. My gut feeling tells me that member of the, well, the rest of the board of directors or somebody else wrote it because she, uh, I don't think Stacey would be pointing fingers at herself. And she's pretty much doing this comment. This, this statement is pretty much doing such. Um, what does this mean for Zach? Zach Smith, Zach Sabbath, Zach S. Um, he can still create. He sold books that have not been distributed, at least, you know, Lamentations of the Flame Princess has its own distribution. It prints its own uh, copies. Uh, they've had PDFs for sale on drive through Of course, they can opt not to do so for any of Zach's contributions. Uh, the Blue Medusa that was well, he burned the relationship with Patrick Stewart, not the Octa, uh, who was his uh, uh, I don't know, co operator on 
uh, on that project that was published outside of drive through But you got to realize that drive through is a huge market. It is a huge marketplace. And to be shut out of that is huge. Uh, Zach is affiliated with art galleries. At this point, uh, the, the way social media works, I am sure they all know about the accusations. And it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out in that end. Um, it's almost like a non-personing that's going on right now. And at what point do you separate uh, an individual's uh, personality, actions, if your, your personal dislike from them, from their creations? I, I, I don't have an answer for that. And I guess that's uh, something that everybody has to make on on their own and you have to make those choices i guess on an individual basis personally zach falls under the category of a number of people like i just don't like him i think he's an asshole his personality online has always been that as a fucking asshole however some of his uh releases have been anywhere from really good to fucking awesome and some I think are, are are kind of shitty. I don't like Vornheim. Okay, I think it's a waste of uh, a waste of paper. Some people love it because it's so artsy. Uh, I dislike it immensely because it's so artsy. But that's again my personal taste. With drive through making this decision to ban Zach from their marketplace, uh, pretty much preemptively. It can be a, a huge problem. It should be put this into perspective, folks. This means that if you do something that one bookshelf deems to be uh, uh, you acting as a bad player in the community, you can be removed from that uh, marketplace. Okay, that's one person. Okay. One person makes the decision for all of us. Steve says it. Steve says, I have decided. Now, he says, deliberation on our part. And then you would think that when he says our, he would mean uh, in terms of the staff or uh, whatever at one bookshelf, people involved in management. But he says, I have decided. So he's taking full responsibility. And that responsibility is going to affect what you in the future could possibly have access to. Think about that. Okay. Again, I don't like Zach. Okay. I don't. But this could be a dangerous precedent. Also, remember, they say they've banned other, banned other people for actions, but they never named them. They never made a public statement. It's the first public statement of such. And I find that very interesting, too. So give me your thoughts, folks. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to uh, take them. You can email me at 10 dot, and that's an actual dot, tavern, at gmail.com. You can leave a voicemail with the Anchor app. I, I, I'd love to hear your opinions on this. N not necessarily on, on, on Zach, because like I said, I got my own. But what you think about this this banning? It's effectively uh, it's a non it's he's been being unpersoned, he's being removed from the OSR market, the, the the premier, the largest OSR marketplace. What does that mean to you, and what does that mean uh, for our future uh, as a hobby? If if actions that are do I believe that Zach likely committed or did much of what is alleged. I find it credible based on my personal experience with Zach. But this hasn't been proven anywhere, remember. Apparently we don't need that. And again, it's a business decision. I understand why drive Through is making it. But give me your thoughts, folks. It's going to be an interesting conversation we're going to have. All right. On that note, stay safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, and I will talk with you all tomorrow. Later, folks.